Hi, I'm Daniel Dubey in Taiwan. It's been a long, long while I haven't seen you guys. So today I'm back to introduce one of our latest and coolest features for our roster, airflow compensation system. As we all know, we try to keep our coffee uh, uh, roasting uh, consistent as much as possible. But uh, in order to do so, do you know the uh, turning our coffee roastings, heat transfer, uh, the essential, the essential of the heat transfer is actually the airflow. An airflow which will contribute in this regard. Okay. Um, so today I'm going to show, I'm going to talk to you about we've got a new system which able to uh, control the exhaust fan automatically in order to compensate the pressure within the drum. Okay. So uh, before I proceed with that, I'd like to talk to you about our exhaust uh, fan. This motor is actually an uh, electronic motor with variable uh, rotation speed. So what it does is you increase the uh, rotation uh, of the uh, speed, uh, it allows more airflow to go within. Thus increase the velocity of the airflow. As we know, pressure and the velocity of the airflow uh, does have direct correlation. Okay? Uh, with our rosters, we actually have a differential pressure reading uh, indicated by the green, uh, sorry, gray curve on the screen. Okay, and uh, basically, uh, what it what it mean by differential pressure is that we actually measure the pressure between the outside and inside. So turning turning uh, coffee roasting with our roaster, uh, our drum actually create uh, negative pressure. Okay, so when you increase the exhaust fan, it actually suck more air into the drum and create even more negative pressure so you actually increase the differential pressure on the reading okay so i hope this makes sense okay but basically uh, in simple terms when you have if you turn on increase your exhaust fan basically uh it allows more air into your drum and on the screen it will actually show uh increasing differential pressure so in this experiment uh what we're gonna do we're gonna recall one of the profile uh roast profile we uh, saved previously okay i'm gonna run uh, that profile and you are able to see the uh the differential pressure readings on the previous uh, profile and what we're going to do is we're gonna run uh replication under automation so Turning that, turning the roasting, we will actually block the exhaust, okay, to create a lower uh, differential pressure reading on the screen. And what it does with this uh, new technology, we have airflow compensation system, you actually execute and automatically adjust your exhaust fan to make sure the differential pressure within the drum keep consistent uh, according to the previous profile. Okay, I hope this does make sense to you, but um, let's just show you physically so you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now uh, that's the time we need to do our experiment. Okay, let's proceed with that. So what I have prepared is the 300 gram um, Ejox Cafe water wash green beans we were going to test before. Uh, and uh, I have recorded this profile that we saved previously. So as you can see from the, the graph, I have hide all the other lines other, uh, and just left with the three lines. So I'll just show you quickly uh, what, what the three lines are about. So we have the BT curve, which is the measuring of the beam temperature, uh, which is in red line. And then we have in blue, that's the reading for your exhaust fan. Okay, so that's basically uh, this one, your exhaust percentage here. And then lastly, uh, the most important, the one we're gonna do the experiments on is the, uh, the differential, differential pressure reading in gray line, okay? So you need to watch out this one, okay? Because that's how uh, the system will actually uh, uh, do. Uh, during the uh, roasting process, it will automatically adjust your exhaust fan in order to keep the uh, uh, pressure reading as same as the profile that you saved before. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it.
All right. Strange claim. And as you know, Rubase it's good at its automation. So just one press, you will, uh, uh, you will start automatically. Okay. Here we are. Auto charge. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the uh, the diagram, the, the, the graph actually uh, bigger. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So I can actually change the the timeline, which is this one, uh, to 600 seconds. So we got 10 minutes. Because this profile only runs till 9 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay, and you will automatically charge at, this charge at 216.3 degrees. All right, so if you're looking at the uh, graph now, okay, let's just focus on the exhaust fan as well as the differential pressure reading, okay? So just the blue and gray line. As you can see here now, because we have that uh, airflow compensation system is actually executing now, currently, right now. Because you can see the pressure you actually keep the same by having a lower exhaust fan, okay? Against the previous reading. Uh, and uh, the reason for that is it cause I just cleaned this roster before, just a few days ago, okay? So, uh, because it's, it, uh, there's a less congestion uh, through, the, uh, through, the, through the pipe. So basically, uh, it actually allows more airflow within. So it doesn't really need that much exhaust um, in the pressure sense. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay, so at this point of time, I actually increased my exhaust from 55 to around 75, okay? And you can see the roster does automatically uh, copy the way you make adjustment on exhaust. But more, but more importantly is that check the differential pressure gauge, uh, well, uh, reading, it still keep as consistent as the previous uh, 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 previous reading from uh, from the profile, and it, because as you can see here, uh, exhaust actually try to make very minimal adjustments. Okay, just to make sure the uh, pressure within the drum keeps constant stay the same basically okay so what we can derive from this experiment is that with this system with this replace um, uh, airflow compensation technology you are able to replicate your profile even more precise okay by not just uh, having a, a, a more consistent in, uh, uh, in, uh, in your heating but also your airflow to make sure the flavor and the result of your roast uh, be more like consistency in your quality okay if that makes sense okay so along the way yes and um, later on we're able to see once because I actually met the uh, I actually increased my exhaust fan after first crack so we should expect an increase in uh, differential pressure reading here as well at the same time okay so let's just see uh, how it goes Okay, so now what we're gonna do uh, another uh, we're gonna do a test where you're able to see straight away turning your roasting process what happens if something goes wrong through your airflow okay you're able to see here straight away in real time okay so now I'm what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off the uh, exhaust okay after the cyclone and I'm actually gonna block it not entirely but I'm gonna block partial it you're able to see straight away you will detect different reading in uh, different rate, differential uh, pressure board. Okay, you can see a sudden drop over there. So it was around 20 something now it's, okay. But now, the rules actually detected the drop in pressure. So what it does is increase the exhaust fan, okay increase the velocity of the drum rotation and now 
in order to make sure you still have the same differential pressure inside the drum, you increase the exhaust fan and now you're able to see the pressure reading back to what you shoot. Yeah? Okay. So let's just let it run for a while. You're able to see you will start to stabilize the exhaust as well. Okay, it will become parallel. Alright, so I'm going to do another extreme test. I'm going to block the exhaust entirely so you're able to see again you should be able to see a sudden drop here. Yeah? And then you should be able to see yep, theoretically and technically now the roster detect that, that situation automatically increase the exhaust fan to it okay but we're not gonna hold on to too long otherwise you know the air won't, won't come out and it's gonna influence my roast but this is a, a small is it's a small demonstration to tell you and to show you yep we can put it back on uh, to show you that uh, with this system okay it, it's gonna be very helpful towards uh, the consistency of your every uh, uh, rules that you're gonna replicate for. Alright? Interesting, eh? As you can see now, back up to the uh, the pressure reading is should be. Okay, so now current the, the, the pressure, pressure in part is reading at 26, around 26, which is here. Okay, so if you like this, uh, this uh, system, this airflow compensation system, it's actually one of our five add-ons you, uh, 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 you, can, you can buy, you can purchase uh, with your roster, okay? And uh, it does cost separately, but uh, it's gonna be very, very, very helpful. Uh, what it's gonna help you as well is that uh, if you're using your roster for for you know for quite some time and you didn't clean at all, you know, uh, usually you you detect a lower uh, airflow pressure within, and with this system, it's gonna tell you that's the case as well. Okay, so then you can check your pipe whether it, there's some congestion going on there, and you can uh, clean it accordingly. Okay. So we shoot, we just passed the first crack. And as you can see, according to the to this profile that I saved, I increased my exhaust from 75 to 95. And obviously the differential pressure reading uh, will increase as well. But still, it's actually keeping the same uh, or similar reading against the, the profile uh, that I that I did before. Okay, so if you're looking at the beam temperature curve here, can you see? It's replicated very nicely. Okay, so this is one of our greatest uh, technology for Rubes posters. Okay, so uh, within the next uh, few minutes, we should expect to discharge and automatically, of course. Okay, so uh, I don't really have to do anything. Uh, so, you know, Rubes posters always tend to design their way try to help the roasting professionals to focus on uh, uh, on their ro roast on every batches okay at this time i can also check my beans to make sure yep that's what i want okay and um yeah it's very handy to have it and uh if you want to make sure that uh, uh consistency of your quality uh towards your you know your flavors aroma or you know uh, 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 result of the roasting. Yes, I think this this add-on is definitely gonna help him. Here we go. All right, so you can see here. You can see uh, this profile. It's uh, it's nicely replicated. Okay, and this is what our roaster are famous for. And um, yes, so um, hope you like this system, okay? And hope you like the video today and with this demo. And uh, this, this demonstration successfully indicate that uh, our system, airflow compensation system, okay? 
it's able to to make sure the uh, pressure inside stay the same as you want from your previous row, uh, previous rows. Okay. Hope you like the video. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go away and taste my replicated roast. See you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.